Oh yeah, ay. When you need a hand and you don't know why Just know that I'll be there When the road is long and you feel so tired Woo! Boy, I will tell you, YouTube, it is hot in this garage today Just smoking um, so earlier we put together the Himaway Escape Pro, checked it out. I actually, I really like this bike. I didn't think I was going to like it so much because I'm not necessarily partial to the moped. I tend to like more the motorcycle or bike style, but yeah, it's actually really been a really, really neat little ride. Um, I'm doing a top up charge on it and then we'll do, uh, some follow up videos and stuff. And this little thing here has become so handy. Just, <laughs> just having it in the shop here, I'm able to put my drink on it, put set my phone down there while I go to this, which is the Zebra Step Through by Himaway. So this is one of their newer, uh, what they call long range uh, target uh, bikes. It's a step through model. Um, I chose the step through model because it seems there's generally a larger market of interest for step throughs. Um, people like them for various reasons. Um, the biggest being you can step through the frame rather than having to lift your leg way up. Um, not everybody's able to do that. Not everybody's into that. Some people might be riding these in tight pants. You don't, you don't know. So uh, yeah, so we've got that one going, but I'm gonna go ahead and get into this one, the zebra step through. And hopefully the camera angle is a little better than last time because we were right here. Last time I was behind the motorcycle and I realized all the focus went to the motorcycle and I'm really sorry about that. Uh, we'll have a better video for you as well on the Escape Pro. Um, just know it goes together easy. I mean, one of the easiest bikes we put together so far, I've put together so far by far, um, less than an hour even in the videos. So I expect this one to go about the same. Um, you know, it's a newer model and stuff. It's got this long charge battery or long distance, long range battery. Um, so yeah, so I'm actually pretty excited about this one too. Um, I think I would, like I got some friends that, you know, they're, they're older guys and they're bicycle purists, you know? So when I say I got a step through, they're like, ah, oh, you got some girl bikes. And it's like, well, I mean, they're not necessarily girl bikes, right? Um, it, <laughs> sure, back in the day, the design was used mostly for women uh, so that uh, the dress, I believe it was, could hang there and not have issue on the bar. Um, you know, we've advanced as a society, I'd like to think, and this has become more of a, uh, I want to say like a medical thing, but I think, you know, with more... Uh, people, you know, over the age of 50 getting into electric bikes, um, I think it becomes just more accessible, really. Or if you ever had any kind of hip or knee injury, I mean, riding a motorcycle, you're eventually going to lay that thing down on your leg. I, I had a bruise, like you can't see it anymore, but it was huge for my accident. Um, so yeah, you could have a really bad injury and maybe getting a step through is better for your injury. Makes it more accessible. Oh, that is heavy. Ooh, just the slide, the box is heavy. And this floor makes things easy to slide. Um, <laughs> it's a big bike, it's a heavy bike. Um, and that's actually a good thing because Himaway makes this such a heavy and resilient bike. You can actually, oh, did this come with a, oh, oh, I didn't expect this. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> It actually came with the rear rack. Um, nice. I didn't expect it to have a rack back there, but that's a nice touch. And wait, good job. I think we're they're doing a thing where you get a free rack with the, the order too. So don't quote me on that. Um, I may have just got one like that. It's that's an awesome deal. Cause yeah, if I remember, uh, the other ones we tested and seen were rack less. Um, so that's that is awesome. That is a neat little perk. I if I can take that. I don't know, that seems pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and that in, lock that down. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this open like we did the uh, escape. And just, now I don't necessarily recommend you do it this way because, well, if you had to return 
uh, the item, right, for some reason or another, uh, to him away or bring it in myself. You know, having the original box helps a little bit, right? Um, it does also, if you need to ship it, it can help. Um, but you might be able to find uh, someone in your neighborhood or just go to a bike shop and get one of their boxes if you did have to ship it back for some reason. So, I do this for your entertainment. Uh, <laughs> I do this just to make it easy. When we open this, you can see by uh, essentially sectioning off the box how it's in there, how your stuff is being packaged. So there's a lot of side packaging here, both on, on both sides, um, including the wheel. So the wheel does have a guard on it for the side here. I was a little worried because this side seemed to be bowed out a little bit, but it looks like um, that's fine. Oh, oh, and I think I'm seeing, yeah, I think, so the paint job is white, but I think I'm actually seeing a little bit of pearlescence from the lights uh, reflecting through there. So it might actually be even nicer um, than described. I mean, hey, there's already a rack there, so I'm not gonna complain, right? That's, that's as score as it is. That's a nice seat too. All right, yeah, let's get this thing out of here. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Now yeah, get the snips. What did I do with my snips? That thing goes inside too. Uh, it's gonna fall over again. Sometimes that happens. They tend to wanna, but I have it. There we go. So that'll lean towards the garage. Oh, here's our friendly, handy dandy box of stuff comes with it. And this one actually, uh, yeah, look at that. Let me package this up. So must have got some complaints about some of the uh, previous ones. See, the Escape Pro came out last year, right? So even though they're still producing it, you may get some older units, right? That are wrapped differently. Like, look at this. Holy crud. Boy, tell me these are just spare. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> that is a lot of nuts and screws and stuff. For assembly of a bike. Um, interesting. I think we're gonna have to read the instruction manual for this one. So, <laughs> well, oh, it's a nicer hat. Hey, you get the new one. It looks like instead of getting the uh, snapback trucker cap, you get the snapback full cap on this one. So, I'm not gonna ruin this one by wearing it and sweating it all up like I did the last one. Um, just though you may get one that breathes in the back, you may get one that's solid. So, um, okay, so it looks like quick release, headlight. What is that? That's, uh, hmm. Definitely gonna have to read the instruction manual for this one. So I'm gonna take a look and see what the instructions say, and then I'm gonna come back and we'll do the assembly because there's definitely some parts in here I am not expecting. I don't know if it just comes with extra stuff, which would be kind of cool. Um, I think probably some of these are so we can attach the rack correctly, it looks like, because it does need to be tightened on. And this needs to be swung down and tightened into place as well on this. So yeah, so there's definitely some, some spots that need to be addressed here um, as we put this together, but yeah, let me, let me check out the instructions, just to be sure. I'll get back with you guys in a few. Okay, so I had a chance to check out the owner's manual, and I would actually recommend reading it. I forgot to bring it back with me. Um, but surprisingly, the owner's manual for this is really well done. Uh, very descriptive, it gives you a lot of information, um, and it looks like, yes, it comes with the rack. So that's a real bonus in my mind. Um, if you ever needed a rack to get things around, um, you can I rack and roll. Oh, anyway, that's horrible. I know. Uh, let's see what we got here. So as I was going through the instructions in the uh, in the manual, what I found was a lot of interesting stuff. So <laughs> a lot of interesting stuff. Um, so this is a disc brake guard, but actually what this is, is your derailleur guard, not a disc brake guard. So some wording isn't always, isn't 
always correct in there, and that's pretty normal um, for a, a lot of these bikes and stuff. It's nothing, nothing new, nothing odd. Um, just kind of have an idea of what you're working with a little bit. Um, one of the things that I did notice, though, was uh, something I haven't seen in a lot of other manuals, and that is the mention of uh, removing the battery, actually, before you do any work, before you finish assembling the bike, really. And I thought that was interesting, because, um, you know, over the year, <laughs> about two or three now, um, since I've really been doing this and putting some of these together and checking out the package and stuff, um, I've come to find that, you know, you usually don't take the battery out. It's not mentioned usually to take the battery out. That's nice. Nice tire. Hmm. Not bad. Uh, nice fender. I'll put that next to its cousin, the Escape. And so, roll this one. We'll just lean this against the motorcycle. We're not going to hurt that, are we? So, let's see what else we got here. Um, the display. The display is, as it was before, wrapped with a nice little piece of foam, little zip tie. That is really nice packaging, if you ask me. Um, I said remove the batteries. Let's see if I can do that. So, removing the battery before your assembly, maybe a little treat. Um, let's see. We got handlebars here, all right. They are, oh, they are on something, aren't they? Man. So those snips are probably my favorite. These snips are probably my favorite thing for releasing the Kraken, getting rid of the zip ties. <laughs> Can I say release the Kraken without getting sued? <laughs> awesome. First thing it says to do is to put on the handlebars. All right, so we will get the handy dandy Allen wrenches that came with it. We'll put the handlebars on. Then it says to put on the rack, and so that'll be the next thing we open these up. We use some of the uh, additionally provided screws and nuts, and we put that stuff. In. So again, four millimeter. Just unscrew it, take it off. Hard. It's not difficult. It's actually very, very easy. Um, I've done no time lapsing on my video for the escape, and I think that one came in at like 45 minutes. So, um, yeah, not too bad. And it's a hot day, so I'm <laughs> I'm moving fast, but I'm moving slower than usual. Let's put it that way. We got Pro Max neck, which I mean, you probably never heard of it. Air round. Alright, let's see if I can. Oh, that's the one thing is my fingers. It's so sweaty. With all of our high humidity that we have. And remember, when you do flip this over, because in the in the manual it does tell you, uh, you know, not to use a bike. It says if you have a bike rack, use a bike rack. But it demonstrates assembly by flipping it over, like most of us would do back in the day. Anyway, anyway yeah. Um, so, what I would recommend is that you make sure you pivot the display out of the way when you do flip it over, um, because it's very common that people do this and they flip it over and it breaks. So, break their display. There we go. And make sure you put it on the right way. I have had customers. Uh, 
their own assembly, and I have had a few that they sent me pictures saying something doesn't look right. I'm like, oh man, you know, you're right. <laughs> what it is is, uh, well, you are, you have the wrong. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so it was a little funny for me. Um, let's see. Oh wow, it's not. Oh, I see. So we're hitting the neck. I'm trying to put this on. Line it up here. Oh, shoot. So, actually, lines up pretty easy. Um, and then once you get that on, we can do more to make sure it's in a way we like. So, you know, you don't have to use the provided tool set, right? um, I will say that it's nice that Himalay provides one. Um, if you have your own set of Allen wrenches, um, you know, you can probably use those too. Um, it's a little, it's a little chunky, right, as far as this tool goes. Um, but I do like to demonstrate that yes, they do provide what you need for the most part. Um, you might just have to figure it out for some other things. that locks in uh, can get stuck right and so when you're whew, I'm sweating like crazy when, <laughs> when you're putting the handlebars on it might be good to straddle this thing anyway but when you're putting these handlebars on um, you kind of like loosen this plate because it can lock around the screw and that will cause it to feel like it's cross threading but really it's just getting locked up on these things so we got this plate in there better and we got that going
Alright, so, got a little quiet, but I got that on. Um, I didn't do the rack yet. That was the other thing it does say to do. Let's get the rack on real quick. Whew, man. Sweaty. So, there we go. So we pulled that out. So we all the kind of go these two screws, right, for our fender, which is a floating fender at the moment, it seems like it's moving. And then this bolts in right there. We'll bolt our other stuff on here. But first, let's get this fender and uh, rack attached. Rack attached. Right? So take that four millimeter again. Screw it right here. Oh. Okay, so what you want to do is make sure you get this rack off. Alright, in this case, I'm just going to get the fender in here. Oh, don't be surprised. We are in monsoon season, people, so it is going to get windy up in here. You probably see uh, some leaves and stuff flying through there. So, alright, so there's that. Let me, ooh, you know what? Let me actually, before I go, Putting that stuff on. Let me get this out. And we will get this rack on too. So the rack, it's a pretty, pretty sweet little rack. I mean, I like this little wood plank rack they, thing they got going, a little motif, right? With the, uh, the zebra now and on the escape, um, the big dog. Uh, it doesn't come with racks, I don't, or it does come with a rack, a smaller rack, um, but it has an optional larger rack for it. So, whew, um, there we go. I'll say there's a lot of just availability here on this stuff we got. Okay. So I am just roasting. I'll tell you right now. So, I have one side, I'm going to put it on the other side and see how that works. Always recommend hand starting screws if you can put your hand in there um, just because you're less obviously less likely to cross thread it um, you just you know, go like that you just go like that just like that well it looks like it's got little springs in the seat so even though it may not come with a rear suspension system it does look like you might get a little comfort from the seat. Um, seat looks pretty cool actually. It seems like a really kind of a thin thing. I mean, I might still upgrade to the Cloud 9 seats. Um, I do really, really like Cloud 9 seats. Um, I have their paperwork still to turn in so we could sell their stuff direct to you guys. Uh, of course, I've just been really focused on this other stuff, you know, the bikes and whatnot, the motorcycles. Uh, so I have my time really to finish their paperwork and stuff and get into them. Um, 
because that hasn't been quite as important, right? Get some of these things out to you guys. Um, so there we go. So we got the rack on, that is solidly mounted there, and then we're gonna go ahead and whew, all the rest of this funness, all this goodness out here. Let's see. Um, so I'm gonna do it the way they say to, right? So in the instructions, even though I have a bike rack and I can put it up on the seat, um, I'm gonna do it, wipe my sweaty self up here, <laughs> do it the, uh, the way it's recommended, which is to flip it upside down. Let's see if I can find, here we go. Find the keys real quick. Take the battery out as also recommended. So the other thing I'm gonna do is take the battery out and I'm gonna get charger I'm gonna go plug it in inside and make sure that it's all charged up so what's that? Oh, that is a oh that is the sticker so hold on to that look um put it right here for now so there's a uh, serial number sticker that comes with your bike right so you have your serial number on your head unit you have your serial number on the battery pack, which, um, which you, oh man, that's just not, ah, interesting. sure it just pop this get a key in pop that and it pops out but it does not seem to want to pop out maybe i'm not pushing on it hard enough to get it to had to do to pop that thing out um oh wow that must have been uh, about half charge or so on the escape because i've had it plugged in for about an hour or so now still still charging up so good sign i wonder if the name say that we tend to promote 529 garage as a place to register your bike your serial numbers take pictures register who you are and then that with the bike and then that way should it get stolen you have somewhere to reference but uh Himaway also provides you with an area to put down your serial numbers and stuff like that so that again if it gets stolen you have that for reference um not just the frame serial number but the battery and the motor serial number as well um, and it's all in here they recommend you know uh, doing that they recommend it being um, <laughs> I'm all there recommend it being as I drift off um, yeah so all the assembly instructions are here they play everything in the guard seat adjustment uh, battery head tube and motor and it tells you how to take that info down uh safety precautions you know how to use that it's pretty pretty straightforward how to get into some of the settings uh what you can do in there how to charge the battery right how to remove the battery all right use the key hold it while holding the battery with one hand detach the battery turn it to the least switch 
unlock the battery. Okay. One hand. Use the. Okay, while holding the battery with one hand, detach the battery by turning the release switch located on the underside of the frame. Right. Okay. I mean, it's just really hard the first time to get out. That's probably it. Um, let's see. So, maybe I'm just really hot right now and I can't be. So, um, it is unlocked because when you lock it, you can actually, it doesn't, see, when it's locked, position, it doesn't move. So, unlocked position, this is moving, but it's not releasing from the frame. So, guessing this is going to take a big. Man, seriously though? Yeah, there's no other way, like if I do it that way, yeah. So, oh, wow. It's really, really hard to even get the battery out right now. Um, I might have to flip it over, oddly, uh, in order to get enough leverage on it without probably breaking it. Um, let's see here. Oh, wow, that's a heavy bag. Whew. That weighs a lot. Okay, so now we are down. Um, and interestingly, So, uh, interestingly, that did not work. As a matter of fact, it seems to be broken now. Um, interesting, so I will have to contact them about that because my latch, even going this way, isn't working to get the battery out. So, uh, that's a concern. That is a big concern. Um, this one looks like it'll come out because the way it's made, but yeah. Um, yep. And I got it all on video, so you guys can see. I'm like turning this thing. I've got it unlocked. I'm turning it, and it's just not coming out. So it is locked in there. Um, that could be an issue, especially for a customer, right? Because you want to take the battery out. You want to be able to do those things. And uh, yeah, this switch broke. So um, that's no fault of mine. That's this battery is just jammed in there too hard. Um, so we may have to get a return on it. I'll have them watch this video though too um, to see. But yeah, I turned it as much as I could. Nothing. I mean, it's not. It is not unlocking at all. So it's not dropping out. It's not coming unlocked. Um, and that's something that will have to be addressed. So. I think we got on video. Um, in the meantime, though, doesn't mean it won't run. So <laughs> it is a big disappointment, right? I get my first bike out of here, and hey, this is how it is, right? This is candid for us too. So once we put what the heck, uh, that's for the fender or something. That's interesting. I don't understand what that would even be for. Um, yeah, maybe for the front fender? Maybe that's... Is that how it goes on? That's strange. A little strange. Okay, so I sent something to our Himalway rep uh, to let her know that the battery is stuck in the frame. Um, I mean, it's like nothing. You don't get any pull. Even flipped over, it doesn't drop out. I mean, it is stuck, it's wedged in here. Um, I'm gonna ride it. I'm hopeful that it's not a battery pack issue specifically. Like, maybe the battery pack is stuck in the frame because <laughs> it swelled or something. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll see. Um, so yeah, we'll see how they, what we can do to fix that because that release right there should be enough to, the battery should pop right out should fall right out so it's not like it's locked all the lock does is oh yeah so the lock doesn't even work anymore so it got messed up enough to where the lock doesn't work on it um it's a nice bike still 
So yeah, so it's probably locked in there. So I'll probably end up having to completely remove this and this in order to take the battery out. Um, it seems like this one is damaged. So we'll mark it, we'll figure it out, and uh, we're a repair shop, so I mean, we'll fix it. <laughs> right? I hate it too when they're like, oh, just send it back. I'm like, dude, I'm a repair shop. I'm not gonna send it back. Why would I send it back? That's what a customer does. Or a customer comes to me and says, hey, this didn't work. And I go, oh, okay, let me fix that for you. But yeah, the whole, well, send it back. That's kind of dumb, actually. Um, especially, like I said, when we're a repair shop, why would I go sending it back to you, right? It doesn't make sense. So, yeah, whatever it is, we'll fix it, we'll repair it, but in the meantime, I can't take the battery out. Um, it's okay, not a big deal. This was supposed to just make out. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. Ooh, Carrie, you're gonna smack yourself in the face if you do that wrong. Um, so don't do that. <laughs> don't do it wrong, at least do it the right way. That is a heavy, that's recyclable, man. That is some serious plastic. Use that for, I don't know, chalking the wheel or something. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get the front tire put on here. Um, let's see. Oh, there's a brake chalk. It just wasn't red. Usually they're red. Um, and you're like, oh, hey, red brake chalk. You take it out, you're good to go. Oh, dur. You take, oh, the escape is ready to go. So get that out. Glass the deal there. What's going on? In the middle of the video shoot. What's up? Oh, okay, my bad. Not yeah. bad, I mean. I wanted to ride the bike. Oh, you want to try the escape now? Yeah, I Good can. timing, it just got charged. You got your shoes and stuff on? I was about to. I think yeah, go get ready. Right I'll be done with this in a few minutes, so. I finished the stuff the rest of my room. Oh, cool. Hey, like I said, my daughter, she likes the escape. She wants to try riding it. Nah, I was right. So, all right, you done here in a minute. So this is one of the nice things here. You got the quick release. Um, I'm partial to quick releases myself. I think they're a great quick tool for you to use. Tighten it down or not as tight as you want. All right, there we go. That's that one. Hmm. I'll have to adjust those. I don't actually, like some of my friends, to their really big bikers and stuff. They, uh, into biking and stuff, they don't seem to like it either. Uh, let me flip these hydraulic brakes upside down. Um, I'm actually gonna gap this a little bit because it is a little off. So I think I was just another one over there, but this one this will work. Let's see here. Or will it? Let's find out. Okay. The other nice thing that I really like about their book, about their manual I should say, was that uh, they actually told you like all the uh, tightening, uh, <laughs> all the forces that you need on all the key parts. So. Pedals and stuff, how tight that should be or not. Yeah.
hardest way to do it actually. So I'm doing it. it is by far the hardest way to uh, to do your braids. But something sometimes I like things. better. Not perfect, but it's a lot better. It's not like a little bit in it. That's good. Alright, so we got that done. We got that done. Um, the only thing really now is to flip it over. Do a couple of adjustments. Oh, it's heavy. Uh, Side two, so this comes out like this. All right, and then kickstand. All right, so I got it with a kickstand. So now I'm gonna shut this off and let my daughter get out here on the uh, escape and see how she likes. That. Okay, so in the garage, Jaden's got the. Uh, Escape. She's run that around the block a few times. So we'll see us up here. Finish getting this one off. Out. Ooh. Well, starter thing twisted around. Um, yeah, and this one has hydraulic brakes, so let's stop a little better, a little quicker. That'll be what you need. Everybody needs a bell. You know you're coming. practice on it like it's a regular bike you know the whole thing is uh, when you need it it has the speed right yeah so Displays in place, it's removable, so I don't want to tighten it up now. So, yeah, my daughter's not, she hasn't really grown up riding bikes, especially with like the pandemic and our movements and our moves and stuff that we've done. 
over the years. But she did learn to ride one, and just like everything, you know, it's uh, still there for her. So it seems to be working pretty well. All right, so we got that. She doesn't know I got her on the camera. There we go. All right, so now we got the Hemway Zebra. At least. <laughs> At least the zebra. Uh, let's see if we got any charge. Probably some charge. So I got the pedals on. Oh, look at that. Got a little juice. That juice is loose. Right. And there's a couple other things we can put on here too. But I am anxious to try it out. So I'm going to spend in. Like the escape, right? I need to put the headlight on and stuff for it. But... Though. Nice. At least with just riding a bike. I'm not used to having so little resistance in the wheels either. Oh, for the motor helping? No, just like on its own, there's not a lot of resistance in the wheels. You think? From like a regular bike? Yeah. Think a regular I bike? I also haven't rode a regular bike since like sixth grade, but. Well, I think you were riding this around, you weren't even using the motor. Mm -mm. And this is a 90 pound bike. This way is like. 92 pounds? it weighs a lot more than a regular bike so it's taking a lot more effort even for you to to get it around right um and i think you know that's good that you get that and you understand it but two you know having a helmet right will help make you feel safer uh if you have long sleeves on that'll help make you feel safer um just the psychology around it around those couple of things surprisingly will make you feel a lot safer on your bike. The protective psychology of long sleeves, right? So you get more comfortable on the bike. Um, but what do you think about that one, like compared to riding other bikes? I like it a lot. Yeah? Yeah, I don't feel like... What's the big difference to you versus riding, say, this bike? Honestly, the wheels. I mm -hmm. like that it's shorter. Right, but I've had shorter bikes and you didn't like those. Where? Um, I had the foldable one over there with the same size tires as that. It's still a little higher. higher. The seat. Do you want to know the truth? Hmm. This seat's actually higher. Really? That seat is actually an inch and a half to two inches higher than that seat can be. Ah, uh, so I'm not this bike. Just so it's feel the, and that seat's even a step through as well. Right, so something about this, and I'm willing to bet it's the weight, because it's not a super light bike, because it is heavier, so it feels more solid mm -hmm. when you're riding it. So that's pretty normal, actually, um, when you look at stuff like that, and uh, you know how it gets used, how it feels. Mm -hmm. You know, weight is uh, something that's considered to we think of as having value, right? Um, don't like the pool of sweat that just came out after I got off though. <laughs> you don't like, you know why you had a pool of sweat? Because you weren't using the motor. <laughs> well, the whole point was for me to not use the motor. Well, now. no, the point was to get on and see if you like it. I used the motor the last coming back out. Oh, did you? Yeah. Turn it on to one? Mm -hmm. And then let it, how did it feel when the motor would kicked in? It felt okay. It felt a little sudden. 
Yeah, real quick. Yeah, because there wasn't... quick pickup. Yeah, there wasn't, like, any, like, stop or, like, again, resistance to it when the motor started. It just went. Yeah, yeah. it was like you pedaled once after turning it on, and it was like, zoom. Yeah, takes so right like, off. Oh, okay. So cool. we can adjust that down a little, too, um, so it's not quite so, so zippy from the start, mm -hmm. if that's what you, you know, want. So we can always customize things like that too. So just find out what you want. Definitely need to practice turns. Turning? Yeah. So Maybe turning freaks me out a little bit. Because you're probably thinking about turning the handlebars. When you turn on a bike, you don't turn the handlebars. You lean tilt. So in your mind, if you're thinking, I need to turn the handlebars, you're going to fall over. I can ride my bike with no handlebars. No handlebars. So keep that in mind. No handlebars. Right? This bike will actually do like 20, 30 miles an hour. Um, they say it'll do 31. So I'm kind of interested to see how that is. Um, but I'm going to have to, but look at this rack. You want to you ride on it with me? No. <laughs> you could. This will, this thing is able to handle both our weight. I don't know. That's what's great about That one's capacity is 330. That which one's, one's total one? capacity 400. No, which one? Oh, this is the Zebra. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fun. So the capacity. Oh, yeah, because you just put all the numbers in. So you know the numbers now, don't you? Yeah. So what is the capacity on the Zebra? 400. 400 pounds. What's yeah. the motor? The motor? Yeah. How fast is the motor? How many watts? Seven fifty. Yeah. How many newton meters of torque? Eighty six. Nice. This one's only eighty, I think. Yeah, I only eighty. It's the oldest. This one motor. was the first one I did, and this one was the last one I did. So oh, how interesting. Kind of yeah. I, what do you think about these? Like this wood on the rack? Like a lot of them just had the metal. It's kind so of I think the wood is what goes, what people would be more comfortable riding on. It makes it. And you might slip. They have seats. On, but really? Yeah, you can actually buy a, a seat for these to put on there, so you can ride it around with your friends. Stick your friend on the back. Speaking of which, I'm gonna do this maiden voyage on this one. Uh, I didn't put the headlight on. The headlights are bright. Did you try the headlight? Oh no, it's not on that. Wow, so it must be hot here because the GoPro keeps overheating again. Same as usual. Um, but yeah, so I got this together. I got it charging. Um, I'm sure once I hear back from uh, him away, we we'll have some solution. It's my demo, so I don't plan on selling it. Um, so perhaps, you know, we'll just keep this till we fix it. However, the escape, my daughter is laying claim to. So might be time uh, we go get her a helmet and uh, she starts riding around when she feels like it. And it's allowed to take that one out. But yeah, the escape or the uh, zebra has a 20 amp hour battery um, that was pretty discharged when I got it. Um, so I'm gonna charge it up and then hopefully, it'll probably be tomorrow, but hopefully we can get some decent riding weather and I take it out and show you guys what's up. So I will say the cool thing, this one's got like, uh, that's really should have been snipped. Uh, same with this one, should have snipped. Interesting. So a little quick work done on this one, looks like. Just a couple of zip ties. Uh, battery is jammed in there, so just be aware. Um, you know, no factory is perfect. Nothing comes out perfectly, um, which is why Him Away has paired up with us uh, as a repair shop. Because hey, you might get this here in Las Vegas. You might order one and be like, ah, oh, get away, and then all of a sudden you have these problems. So we would be here to help you with that. Um, yeah, I don't see any real reason why this should be stuck in there. It should just pop right out, but um, like I said, it's unlocked. Right. So yeah, so it should just pop right out when you hit that. It should just drop, and it's, it's not doing that. Maybe knock that a little bit. But yeah, so that one's stuck. Just keep that in mind. Um, you may have that issue yourself. I don't anticipate it. Usually uh, errors like that are a run mistake, meaning that somebody did the same mistake over and over again and there'll be a run of errors and issues, or it's a one-off mistake. And most of the time they're one-off mistakes. 
uh, to have a run issue is rare. Um, but when you do, hey, you know how to fix it, right? I gotta say, it's nice. You got the, I'll have to ride it once it's uh, charged up, ready to go. Get out there and ride it. And I will say it was fun just taking it around the block a couple times with the uh, battery on half charge. And unlike a lot of bikes, uh, this has the water bottle mount, so you could put a water bottle there, any other thing. And though you may not be able to see it from your angle, this white is has a pearlescence coat over it. So it's shining in all kinds of wonderful colors and stuff. It's not just plain white. Um, yeah, really impressed, even though a couple of issues here and there. Uh, nothing too major. All looks good. Motor runs good. It's all connected up right. Yeah. Nice job. Good job, Himway. Happy to be part of the team. Know that I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there.